Good evening guys, happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. So I think I was telling you guys in yesterday's vlog how um, I was like just so tired from the weekend and getting up early on Saturday to go and pick up the furniture for my aunts and then yesterday to go to the grocery store um, and just like being up early and like so I went to bed super early last night at least super early for me it wasn't really that early um, but it's kind of late I guess for normal people that like you know like my dad that would be him staying up like really late still like the time I went to bed but it was still really early I feel like for me um, like I I think it was about 11 o'clock I went to bed which like I said is not like really really early for me but it's kind of like earlier than when I normally go to bed so um again too sometimes I can fall asleep by like one or two o'clock in the morning so again 11 o'clock was a pretty good time and like the thing was too is that I was tired so like that's the hard part is like being like I'm gonna go to bed at 11 o'clock clock and like trying to force myself to go to sleep because then I'll just lay in bed like regardless until like midnight one o'clock or something like that until I'm actually tired enough to fall asleep whereas you know because like if I get up too late I'm not tired by that time so that's why it's like I don't have trouble falling asleep it's just like the amount of hours like it has to be so many hours like from when I've woken up so that's why if I'm in a really bad routine of like going to bed really late and like waking up really late I can't really break it because I can't be like I I'm gonna go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight and then like fall asleep because I won't fall asleep because I'm not tired enough because I woke up at like you know 11 o'clock or something like that and I'm just not tired there's only like 12 hours later that I like I'm not tired yet especially too like if I haven't been doing anything I mean like on occasion if it's like I was doing a lot and like I just tired myself out maybe that would be enough time but in reality it's not really that much time to like have like be ready to go to bed and like be tired enough to fall asleep because then I'll just be laying in bed like and I'll be like oh I'll, I'll get look up something on my phone and then I'll be like maybe I'll put something on tv you know and then before I know it it's like two hours later still when I'm like I'm in bed ready to go to bed but I just don't I distract myself and can't actually fall asleep um until I'm like okay I'm finally tired and I can finally fall asleep so anyways though that was yesterday night I was so tired I just felt like right to sleep which was really nice but then I was like okay I really want to get up early so I heard my mom was up at like five o'clock this morning and I was like nope that is way too early my alarms have not even gone up I'm not getting up at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> then I heard her I, I think she came downstairs maybe at about eight o'clock or something like that um, or maybe Jack got up, um, but sometime around eight or nine o'clock, me and Jack ended up getting up, or Jack came in, I was kind of already awake, but then Jack came in my room to come and take the dogs out, and we had plans today that we were gonna go and walk in the morning, because it was supposed to be really nice out, it was like 71 for a high today, which I know it's so weird, it's the beginning of March, and again, we're in like, almost, you know, what I would expect is like, June weather, you know, or something like that, like May, um, you know, like that was the kind of temperature than it was today but um we wanted to go walking and so um just to like get out just to go out be active and you know try and, and stretch the legs kind of thing because I was like especially after Saturday like just lifting stuff for my aunt and things like that I was like geez either I'm just really weak or I just have not like worked out you know and it's not even so much that it was like upper arm workout it was just like also too I was up and down the stairs at her place like a lot and you know like I was just like I think that I've just been really lazy especially too right now because of like winter being inside a lot more and stuff like that too like in the summertime I'm outside doing a lot more stuff but just lately it's like I move from like my bed to my desk <laughs> like that's my day and I don't end up doing a whole lot of you know like I said like other stuff like going and bringing things around like you know like gardening you know I'll do that in the summer or whatever like I can't do that right now I mean I could because it's 71 degrees outside but <laughs> I'm not really doing a whole lot of that stuff and you know just like yard work and like doing all those kind of things so I'm just like let's just go and you know like go and walk and Jack loves walking especially when he was in football he used to after his games on Friday he would go and just like go take a really long walk just to kind of like rejuvenate himself a little bit and just kind of work out you know all of the the soreness I mean that's what like professional athletes do I don't know the whole what is that kinesiology or whatever it is and that like the study of muscles and stuff but um you know like because again too sometimes on Saturdays they would have the kids do like 
um, you know, like the bikes and stuff like that just to like get those muscles kind of moving or whatever it was. I don't know. It's, you know, again, professional athletes do it. It's high school athletes, college athletes, I'm sure do it too. But Jack was just like, they, there was a couple times where they wouldn't meet on Saturdays. And even too, with the coach that he had before that too, they wouldn't do like Saturday morning stuff. And Jack was like, I'm going to go and just go and take a really long walk afterwards and just kind of, you know, work my legs back out and, you know, whatever and that kind of stuff. And, um, he used to do it like all the time. He was, he's a big walker. He just enjoys going out. Like, I think he would enjoy hiking. We haven't hiked in a long time, like a very long time. I think that he's one of those people that would just probably really enjoy it. Like I would definitely enjoy, you know, like going on a hike. Like I know I really enjoy hiking. I have not been out hiking in a very long time. Um, but you know, like again too, and I haven't done a lot of hikes. Like, and, and the other thing too is like hiking versus also to like doing like, there is a couple of like more, I guess they're, I don't know if they're parks or forest preserves. Um, because like, I think they are forest preserves. There's a couple that are around us. There's one that's really big and they do have a lot of natural like hiking trails. And I went there a few, I've been there at least once with my one friend. Another friend I went there with because they also have a really big hill. It's like a sledding hill. They rent inner tubes and you can go sledding down it. I went there one time to this like park, I guess, or forest preserve, I guess it is. But it's also like a park. They also have archery there too, which is another really cool thing. Um, Like you can practice archery. And it was also at that time when Hunger Games came out. I remember everybody was really big into archery and there was like all these people like waiting because they like all wanted to like practice archery and stuff like that. Um, but it's just like kind of like, I don't know, like a setup thing and they have like, you know, the, um, the targets and stuff. Um, but that's kind of cool because it's not like something that a lot of places have. I don't know if they still have it, but they did and I thought that was really cool but they do have a lot of different trails um, there. And then also too, we're really close to Prairie Path. So like I've, I guess, hiked or walked on that before. Also rode my bike on there too, but um, it's more of a bike trail, I guess, but you can kind of hike it and walk it if you want to. But like I said, I don't know if that's technically considered hiking or not, but you know, just like nature walks kind of and stuff like that. But there are like trails and stuff like that that like I was saying like at that one like forest preserve park kind of place has um, that are like, they, they're pretty far too like some of them also connect so you can like kind of loop back around and some of them are like several mile like hike kind of things so that's why I'm like is it considered like a nature walk a hike or like a regular walk is it dependent on mileage is it dependent on you know the type of things that you would see along it like if if it's an incline is that what considered a hike what is it really you know <laughs> so um like I said I don't know but um you know I, I've been I've done a lot of that stuff recently but not like I don't know a place where like they consider it like hiking hiking like you know hiking boots and like all that kind of stuff like I know Matthew went to Starved Rock one time and that's like I, I would consider that like hiking they also have a lot of different trails too so that's why I'm thinking like again to the forest preserve that's really close to us is also kind of more hiking but um either way I think Jack would like that because he likes walking and I would assume hiking as well <laughs> so um but we ended up doing that this morning and that was really fun um getting to you know again be out there like we just listen to music but like we were still like talking sort of like talking through listening to our music at the same time it was really nice we were probably like walked because the park our our like the park closest to us is only a block away from our house and um it has a huge I mean it's a huge huge they have like huge acreage in there. there's a prairie path that's like connected to it pretty close um but we didn't end up walking there we just kind of like looped through the park but it's again too the acreage is really big so it doesn't have like hiking trails like I said and it's not like a forest preserve but if you just like walk like through like the whole park and everything like that it's a good I don't know exactly what the distance is but um like we ended up walking through and like went through like the the baseball diamonds and like then they have like a path kind of that takes you through like to one side of the park and then to the other side so you can like literally like walk almost all the way completely through the park and like I said it's a very very big park it's not just like a little playground like they have multiple different playground sets in the whole park um and it's all like forested and stuff like that there's all kinds of stuff to look at I think I was telling you guys too there was one time me and my mom walked because we didn't walk into the park but you can walk like the path that's like along the street and we would walk there there was one time we saw ducks in the tree and 
I didn't know that wood ducks actually nest, I think, in trees, which is why they're called wood ducks. I had absolutely no clue of that because I thought it was the weirdest thing. Well, first of all, there's actually no water feature in the park, so where the ducks were even from, I have no clue. But secondly, to see them in the trees are like really weird. Like we don't have any water around near us. So again, to, to see ducks is... <laughs> very bizarre thing but then on top of that too to see them in the tree I was like are they in the tree because there's no water around <laughs> you know or like they're hiding like somebody let go of some ducks and that's why they're in the tree but I could identify them and I was like they look like they're wood ducks and then I was like I looked up later and apparently I guess they nest in trees but where there's water nearby for them to like eat things I mean there's a couple houses that have like property and they might have some type of like small water features and stuff like that but like like, there's no like big like pond and lake and stuff like that like in the park so I thought that was kind of funny that was like a few years ago when me and my mom were walking there and we saw like the ducks I was like that's that's cool but there's all kinds of stuff to see like again too there's all kinds of birds there's this other bird too today that I was like I have to go and get my bird book because I'm I, I love birds <laughs> but um you know I saw this one bird and I was like I don't really know what it is like it kind of looked like a chickadee but it was not it was way bigger than a chickadee but it had like the markings sort of like it but like its head was different and it was kind of longer and like I don't know I'm I'm like really I have to look it up now because I can identify a lot of birds a lot of the ones in the area and a lot that come to our feeders but this bird I had never seen before and so I thought it was really interesting but um that's the same thing too is that I think I've shared with you guys I love our blue jays that sometimes come to our feeders but the place that they most likely hang out at because I see them a ton is over in the park so I'm always like kind of looking up in the trees to like see if I see them around um but like every once in a while we get like one blue jay and then there was one time and I actually caught it on camera because I was recording at the time I got like three blue jays all at the same time there's like three or four of them just came like swooped down and were like eating off our platform feeder and I was like oh my gosh I can't believe I just caught that on camera because I was like nobody was gonna believe me like my parents like because we'd only just get one all the time and I was like, nobody's going to believe that there was like four or five of them or something like that in like the front yard um, all at the same time. And so, um, like I said, I actually caught that on camera, which I thought was really cool. And I've never had that happen since either. Um, but I know a lot of times I will see them because they are really big birds. And I will see them a lot of times they're flying through the park and like when we're driving, because like you can drive on the one side, like I said, and um, that's like the street down from us. And so I'll see them. I'm like flying across if we're going somewhere it's really cool to see him because I'm like oh is that Jay that's what we've named all of the blue jays are just named Jay <laughs> so um but yeah when I had like five of them in the front yard I was like look there's five jays in the front yard um but anyways yeah so that's what we ended up doing today we got up early now it's raining it's supposed to get a little cooler tomorrow like it's only supposed to be like in the 50s which is still really nice weather and so I'm looking forward to potentially going and walking tomorrow as well if it's not raining um but I also don't know too if like especially the beginning maybe me and Jack want to do like one day on one day off like maybe we'll do like Mondays Wednesdays Fridays or something like that just until we start like getting more comfortable maybe doing it and Jack was like I'd like to do it like twice a day like once earlier you know in the morning or something like that and then maybe once in the evening like just a smaller one like maybe even just around the block with the dogs or like twice around the block and take each of the little dogs because Bliss really doesn't do well anymore on walks so much like she doesn't do what, that bad on like short distance but like around the block is kind of too far for her at this point but like if we were to like walk her like halfway down the end of the street and like back or something like that she probably would be okay but um it's just like her hips and stuff like that like she doesn't you know long distances aren't really that great for her anymore but then the little dogs are like you know kind of out of control sometimes and not even so much that they're out of control it's just that they're so skittish like there was a leaf blowing across the street one time and bravo got so scared and hid behind me wouldn't walk towards it I was like, really? It's a leaf. It's not even like a squirrel. I was like, and you're a dog. You're supposed to go and chase those kind of things. Like, I think like a leaf, he'd be like investigating it or something like that. No, he was scared and hid behind me. And then I had to like practically drag him and he didn't want to walk. So then I had to pick him up and carry him. Like, that's the kind of stuff that's just annoying. They don't get like scared barking like normally at people. They get like scared and like don't want to like move because they're like so out of their element and like, you know, that kind of thing. So they just get freaked out and like freeze and then they won't move 
move and you're like come on like you know especially like if we're in the walkway and like somebody's coming through either they're walking or they're bringing their dog or whatever and I can't even get my dog to like move off to the side on the sidewalk or something like that because he's just so scared so they're kind of a pain to bring on walks just because of like how you know kind of terrified a lot of times they are but then they're also kind of just crazy like when they are by themselves and like you know again we are walking there's no leaves blowing around then they just like they don't know how to walk on leashes either like that's just the other crazy thing <laughs> um so they're both super passed out right now and aren't listening to anything I'm saying but it's raining right now so I don't know if we are gonna actually walk tomorrow but like I said maybe we'll do the every other day kind of thing could also work I actually feel really good though like at first like right when we got home I was like okay I feel a little sore because it was a long time like I said it was probably about a half an hour I checked actually it was a little bit over a half hour I think that we took the walk for and you know again too we weren't going like super speed walking or anything like that but um you know and I don't know the distance I know my steps I know how many steps I got in I think it was like over a thousand steps which again I think was pretty good but I don't even know too because like the health app was like up it wasn't updated and then it was like you didn't take as many steps as yesterday and I was like I didn't walk hardly at all yesterday I was like there's no way I walked less that yesterday or more yesterday than I did today um so I don't know it was like weird like updating kind of and stuff like that so I have no clue if that was even right but it was something over I think it was under 2,000 but over a thousand steps it just in like just for that walk but I have no clue what the mileage was but I do know that like if I walk all the way down to like the first busy street that I come to if it's like all past the park and then back that's like very close to being a mile so I want to say it was probably like maybe close to a mile or over a mile possibly um also too because we missed it one turn off or job like Jack was like oh this is the way I normally walk and I didn't realize it we crossed over at a different crosswalk and we actually walked further and then had to walk kind of back and then through the park so um Anyways, I think we got more steps in because of that. I felt like a little bit sore right afterwards, but then after that I felt fine. So it was really nice to like get like really good, nice long walk in too. So anyways, um, like I said, we that's like our plan. And especially too, since we've had such nice weather right now, like we're not like, oh, it's snowing on the ground or something like that, or there's snow outside or whatever. It's like, you know, again, we, we can go and walk. So it was 71 degrees out today. I was wearing shorts on our walk. So, um, you know, tomorrow I might not but you know it was really nice so um you know we might not be able to do it every day just based on like schedules and stuff like that too but whatever days we can we'll try and do that which is going to be fun but anyways i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys